In this module, we're going to take a look at evading IDS's firewalls and honeypots. What I want you to keep in mind when I talk about an IDS, I use the term IDS to include IPSs. We're talking about intrusion detection sensors and also intrusion prevention systems. Uh, the thing is, is most IDSs have an IPS capability. From the perspective of getting past them, we can treat them effectively the same. So what we want to do in this module is we want to take a look at how these devices work so that we can better understand how to get past them. So we'll go over what an intrusion detection system is, we'll look at ways to detect an intrusion, then we'll look at the types of IDSs that are out there. We'll also look at something called system integrity verifiers. We'll look, a, look at ways to uh, have the detection of an attack by an IDS take place. Then we start looking at ways to evade the IDS and some tools that are out there that you can use. We'll talk about a firewall and its identification how we can bypass a firewall, and really understanding the way that a firewall works is a really important component to that. We'll take a look at honeypots and its types, and then we'll look at the detection of honeypots. So an intrusion detection system. What this is, is that no matter what type of security you've put in place, someone can antivirus and the best physical security can all be exploited. So what we want to make sure that we, that we have is we want to make sure that there's a way for us to take place or take action against this. IDS's firewalls and honeypots are all important components. When we talk about intrusion detection systems, what we want to know is we want to know when someone gets past our existing systems.